Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we create report on incidents which are breached. If you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. For creating report, we will go to the reporting module and you can type reports on the filter navigator and then click on new. If you are not aware of basics of creating report, please click on the top right corner. I will name the report as breached incidents and instead of table. I will select data source as my source type and there is a data source which is present out of the box. It's called task.breezedSLS. So you just simply have to use this and it is built on your task table. And you can see the conditions here if stage equal to breezed or has breezed equal to true. So any task which is breezed will be appearing in this report. And we can see here all the incidents which are breezed appear here. Alternatively, you can put some of the conditions here. For example, task starts with INC. So it will show you only the incidents and not the other task table data. And as well as you can apply other condition, for example, active is true. And only the incidents which are in active state, for example, in progress or on hold will be displayed here. You will be able to see the incidents and business elapsed time and elapsed percentage and it shows that it has been breached. And if now you want to display incidents only of your group or of some particular group you can apply an and condition and select task and click on this little arrow which will show the related list or the fields on the task table. Select assignment group here and you can make it is dynamic and select is one of my groups and run this. And now it will display all the incidents which are active true and are my incidents or belong to my group. There are four incidents. If you want to search it with respect to some particular group, you can select is and give the group name here for example I select database and I run this and you will be able to see there are two incidents which are assigned to database team which are breezed and then you can add this report to your dashboard if you don't know how to add this report to your dashboard please click on the top right corner I hope this video was helpful to you let me know in comments if you have any questions please do subscribe to my channel